Okay, here I am on the Google Accounts page and I already have a Google account started. Again, um, if you have do not have a Google account, you would create a, an account which is free. So you would go ahead and click on that and create an account. And then with that, a Google account, you it comes with the reader, the aggregator reader. And it also comes with, um, you can create a web page. There's lots of things you can get through Google accounts. So um, I already, I'm going to go ahead and sign in to my Google accounts. And this is my main account. And over here, I have my reader. So I would click on my reader. And this is my particular reader right here. And I've already started collecting some articles or sites that I, you know, want to go to to maybe check out from here um, when I can. So these are called your subscriptions. And you can see here that I have 20, I have, first of all, I, I went ahead and created four folders. And in the education folder, I currently have California Den. I didn't want to create too many sites at once because it can be overwhelming. And the 24 represents that there's 24 um, new articles that I have not read yet. And in the educational technology folder, there are, in the tech savvy, there are a total of five. In the math folder, you can see there's 311 articles that I have not viewed. Um, there's no way we're going to view 311 articles, so I'll go through that with you in a minute. But of the 311, there's 24 in this particular site. And then in the NCTM, there's um, a handful in that site as well. And then in my news folder that I've created, I've got 520. Some of them are from CNN and some of them are tech savvy. So I just recently um, signed on to tech savvy. So I can easily just say, you know what, I want that to go into the tech folder. So I can just drag it into the tech folder and it goes into the tech folder. So I can organize my, my uh, articles that I want to read. So here I'm on my home page and you can see that I've got my news. So news, all my news articles are showing here. I can just click on them and go in through them. I've got my mathematics, my NCTM, and I've got my TechSmith. So I've got our, my, all my articles. If I wanted to go specifically to maybe the educational den, I could just click on that. And you notice it says 24. So as I go through and I scan these articles, and again, I'm, I'm looking for something that pops out at me. There's no way you're going to sit here and read 311 articles word for word. You're basically doing quick scan, seeing if there's something that um, you find very interesting. And then those ones that you find very interesting, you can then go back and read. And supposedly there, there's a way to market um, so that you can keep it keep track of ones that you want to read later because we don't always have time to read everything at one time. So there's a lot of little um, uh, things that you can do in here to help you sort through and manage um, what you're reading. So as you can see, as I'm looking through the different articles, you can see that now it says 17 instead of 24. So it's basically saying that I've read it. Now, I have an option of taking that off and not saying that, but it's nice to be able to just drag through and know that you've glanced at articles or if you want to see if something is particularly interesting. And then it says i have now down to eight. So again, there's lots of different ways. I don't know all the different ways yet, but you can um, tag things so that you can go back and read later. So how do you start developing your list? So you can easily just come up to the add a subscription and you can type in the URL. So if you find something in particular, um, so here I have this Utopia magazine or uh, this website type magazine that has a lot of interesting stuff in it. So you can either highlight the URL and copy that in or I can click on this icon, which is your RSS feed icon. So let's go ahead and do it where I 
paste, copy and paste the URL because that's one way you can do it. So I need to go back to the reader and then I can just paste that URL and it adds it in there. And there it is. And then I can just drag it and say, you know what, I really want that. That's more of an educational type um, magazine for me. It's not really math related. It's more of a general. So I'm going to put it in the education folder. So I have that now to look at. So um, again, this is new for me as well, and um, I'm still playing around with this, but this is a great way to um, look at a lot of different sites, um, even if it's personal, even if it's um, Twitters or anything personal, doesn't necessarily have to be educationally based. And it's a good way to go through some important information and kind of see what catches your attention. So once again, it's it's doesn't have to be used strictly for an educational purpose. It can be used for a personal. Um, there's so much information on the internet and the web and it's so hard to, to go to all these different sites. So the whole point of the RSS feeds is that it comes to you. So you basically go out there and say, I like this particular magazine or website. So that's interesting to me. So I want them to come to me and tell me when they have something new and updated. So it's a great um, it's a great way to get information from the internet. Um, at the very bottom, I don't know if you can see it, but at the very bottom you can see it says manage subscriptions. And again, I don't know. Let me see if I can figure out how you can see this. You're not every bottom it says manage subscriptions. I'm clicking on it, and so here's a lot of different ways for you to manage your subscriptions. So Again, play around with it. The main idea is to get onto Google accounts, get a new account, which is free, and then start your reader and start signing up for it, and you'll start to see how useful it can be. Okay, maybe I'll redo this one over time after I learn more. Maybe I'll redo a new video.